EKU men's basketball in action at McBrayer Arena. And Eastern's taking on the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State. Colonels need to win their last two games to win the East and secure the number two seed in the conference tournament. Both teams would exchange blows as this game would be tied seven times in the first 10 plus minutes. Under five minutes left in the first half, JSU looking to tie it up for the eighth time, but Avery Moore's shot will be off the mark. In the hustle for the rebound, Darian Rackley goes into press row as Denzel Richardson would corral one of his five rebounds. He then shows off his crossover, drives the lane, goes high off the glass for the finish. The Colonels would be up six at the break. The Gamecocks would knock down a couple three-pointers to start the second half and not the game at 31. Colonels up two and Corey Walden will pick up one of his four steals to put his team up four. CW needs just six more steals to become EKU's all-time leading pickpocket. Rackley fast break looking to tie it up. Nip says get out of my kitchen. Jack State would take the lead however as Rackley knocks down a three-pointer with 14.44 to play. Stutz then works his way under Felder to put EKU in front by one. He would finish with 14 points. Walden will work around a Stutz screen, puts up a raindrop and gets the hoop and the harm to cap a 14-4 run. Walden would have a team high 15 points and eight rebounds. The Gamecocks would go on a 14-6 run of their own to close the gap to one with under three minutes to play. Nip is going to thread the needle and Walden will go all acrobatic to put EKU up three and the Colonels would hold on for a 63-57 victory. Eastern will wrap up the regular season on Saturday when they welcome in Tennessee Tech. With the win on Saturday, EKU will win the East Division and lock up the number two seed and a double bye in the conference tournament. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.